On this episode of Windows Games on Linux, I'm going over Fallout 4 and getting the gameplay and configuration set just right so it runs buttery smooth and you have no audio issues. So how complicated is it to fix a lot of these things? Well, there's three major steps that we're gonna be going over. Uh, one is using Wine Tricks to install Xact. Another one is changing the Wine Config to uh, make sure you use F-Audio. There's a custom F-Audio we'll be downloading and installing using Wine Config. And then the third is just basic INI edits and regular configuration that pretty much everyone's used to and is accustomed to out of any Bethesda game. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the configuration. Okay, so once we've installed Fallout 4, which you should done, I have actually done it prior to this video, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Steam just so you see it's installed. Um, if you haven't already run this, definitely run it once because what we're gonna be doing is modifying a lot of the actual uh, configuration of Proton or the wine bottle behind Fallout 4. Um, so I'm gonna go into that right now. Um, there's a couple things, there's three major things we need to do before we launch into Fallout 4. Number one is install Xact. Uh, two, F-Audio, and then three, uh, change just some of the default settings using the launcher and INI edits. So, that said, let's go ahead and I'm gonna pull up my file browser here and we're gonna go down into the folder and I'm gonna show you what commands you need to run to get XAC installed. Now the very first thing you need to do is make sure you have Wine Tricks installed. So if you haven't, go to your uh, package manager, whatever that is, if it's Pac-Man or if you're on Ubuntu, uh, it's APT, you would just install Wine Tricks. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this in just so you can see what it is. Um, just make sure you have Wine Tricks installed. Most people do by default, especially when using Wine. Um, I'm also, if you're installing Wine, I'm using Wine-Staging. I'm using the staging release, not the stable branch. So uh, just an FYI, if you have any differences, you might switch to the staging. Um, but with that out of the way, let's go into installing XAct now that you have the requirements to install it. So uh, I go directly into the folder. So the best way to get to it, if you are unfamiliar where it's located, because I have various uh, libraries on here. So um, I like to go to local files, browse local files, and then I'm already in where Fallout 4 is installed. I'm in, I actually have a separate, separate library on a different drive, so that's why it's going to look different for you. Um, but just launch from local files, and we're going to actually go into um, the compat data folder. And this is going to be 377160. That's going to be Fallout 4's directory. This is going to be static, so it'll be the same for you. And then PFX. From here, if you don't have like a built-in terminal to your file manager, usually you can right-click and say launch terminal. Um, however, mine is already up here, and I'm going to just going to show you just for clarity. Um, First off, you need to set the wine architecture. So you do wine arc equals win 64 space. And then you need to do uh, the prefix, this entire long path. So the easy way to do that is just do PWD and then it gives you the entire length path. Now, as you see, this is a pretty custom path just because this custom library I've built, but you can just highlight this and copy it. Um, using either control shift C or um, just doing a screen grab and grabbing it that way. But with that done, let's go ahead and just do wine arch equals win 64. And then wine prefix equals dash. Now this isn't an actual uh, quotation mark. It's just a single uh, quotation mark. So just no. And then I'm going to go control shift uh, V and then there, and then we do wine tricks X act, hit enter. 
And what this does, um, I'm going to show the line down here, pull it up. It goes and configures uh, this for uh, this specific wine bottle. Now I've already installed it, so it's probably just I, I probably shouldn't reinstall it, but I just want to show that that it's actually installed and this is exactly what you need to do. So, all right, this is good. That's installed. You probably will see more prompts like such as setting up Gecko and whatnot. Just hit install on all the wine prompts that you will see. So now that that's installed, we actually need to go out to the internet and grab what's called F-Audio. This is gonna fix a lot of the audio issues in Fallout 4. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up uh, this GitHub. And I'm gonna leave all the links below as well. So if you get lost or you need to reference, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here. I'm gonna change the folders to default so you see it. But as you see, it just downloaded this to my downloads folder so i'm going to go ahead and open that up and then just simply extract that folder um, i've already extracted it so i'm going to cancel it but i've extracted it in the downloads folder so we'll go ahead and quit out of these now that that's done and we'll go to downloads and f audio x64 and then all we do is select all and copy from here we will go into uh, back into where we were at. So I'm just gonna go back twice and back into this portion. Now we go into drive C. Again, if you do not see any folders here and this is completely blank under the 377160, make sure you launch Fallout 4 and it will auto-generate these. So from here we go into drive C, Windows, System32, and then we simply paste everything into here. Now it is pretty much done at this point, but uh, just know that we need to now make another change after pasting these files. So we would hit paste and it would say, hey, do you wanna do this? And I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel out since I've already pasted these files. So we've gone on ahead and downloaded f audio we've overwritten all the dlls in the system 32 folder and now we need to reconfigure it to use some of these dlls a little bit smarter so what we do is i'm just gonna go back to where this is and instead of wine tricks x act we're gonna just do a wine config so i'm gonna just back there and wine cfg and this is going to pull up the wine configuration that you see here and all we need to do from here is go into libraries and we need to go down to x audio 27 now i changed this already but you need to hit edit and make sure it says native windows and then hit ok and from here it'll change from native built in to just strictly native now I've already done that, you'd hit apply and then it would take you through and quit out. From here, these are the custom tweaks to really get Fallout 4 screaming and just working fantastic. So right now the audio is done, XX installed. Um, now all we need to do is configure the launcher and uh, the INI files as well. So to do uh, the INI files, I'm gonna go back and just hit browse local files and uh, I'm gonna show you where that's at real fast as well. Um, we'll go back to Compat Data and here and then Drive C, but instead of Windows, we're gonna go Users, Steam User, My Docs, My Games, Fallout 4, and then you have all this. Now, what I like to do is create a Fallout 4 custom.ini. In this way, I know exactly what I've changed from the defaults and it's very obvious um, in case I need to change anything in the future, I just know it's my settings and then everything else I just left stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And as you see, background mouse one, just to fix any of the mouse issues. Um, and this is kind of an important one because sometimes your mouse can really freak out without this setting in there. And that's true with pretty much any Bethesda game, especially when it's running in Proton.
The other display issues, um, the deferred tiling lighting is very important. Uh, borderless full screen and the rest of it uh, is not needed. So really those, uh, the only thing that you really have to watch out is these top uh, two settings, make sure controls and display and this uh, preferred tiled lighting is enabled. The rest of these is my computer. I'm using an ultra wide. That's why I set these as they are um, just to kind of try and lock all that in. So you don't have to use these bottom four if you don't want, but the top ones definitely do. It is needed. And it'll just make your life a heck of a lot easier and make Fallout 4 run beautifully. So that is pretty much it for what I call the hacky stuff. Um, and now we can just do simple configuration changes. So if we just go ahead and launch into Fallout 4, um, we're going to just show you the one setting I changed out of the actual launcher. So let's see if I can change that real fast. Just hit options. I went ahead and just clicked ultra and then advanced. So it defaulted everything to the ultra setting because my graphics card is pretty good and I can handle ultra. Obviously, if you're on a lower end machine, definitely don't use ultra. Um, God rays, um, a lot of people recommend turning this off and also they're kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I kind of like to put them on low, but the recommended setting is off for best performance and uh, not having any artifacts or things of that nature. So it's very important to uh, do that but I kind of like to live dangerously sometimes and just have a little bit of God rays, um, just nothing too crazy. Uh, but that's really the only setting. And honestly, you could pretty much leave all these stock and you'd be, you'd, you'd be just fine. There, there wouldn't be any uh, consequences to that. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out here. The last setting we need to change is the launcher options. So set launcher options no e-sync equals one this prevents a lot of the stuttering or micro stutters you might get like during a cutscene, and or like we're talking to somebody and also decreases on screen tearing so if you're doing a lot of movement sometimes you see screen tearing with no with the e-sync on zero so i went ahead and put this to one and then uh the dxvk hud uh, equals fps this just puts fps counter in the top left it is not needed for this and then of course the percent sign command will just go ahead and launch uh, what it needs to launch so uh, i will put this in the description as well if you need these commands but that is fallout 4 configuration in a nutshell so from here let's go ahead and do some practice gameplay i am also going to just be pretty quick with this one uh, no longer than a minute as far as the practice uh, gameplay because it is pretty late here. It is past 2 a.m. right now and I am very tired. So I wanted to get this video out tonight though and that way you guys could see it in the morning since I'm just finishing up the Fallout week and I just finished the New Vegas live stream. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little practice gameplay. I'm going to just hop in, do some fast travels and run around probably my base I'm not going to do too much other than that. And then um, some sample combat. I think I can run into town and then probably get a little little sample contact here. So let's go ahead and hit play and get this thing going. Now I am on an ultra wide here. So please note the background would look normally OK to you for everyone. It's just mine is not set to the correct ratio. So uh, on a regular 1920 by 1080, you wouldn't see this overlapping. It's just my ultra wide doing some weird things. And that's just fallout for you. So here we go. Let's uh, do this. I'm going to just do kind of a quick spin here so you can kind of see the volume perfect 60 fps the entire time let's walk out into the water kind of look gazing over pretty neat looking pretty good let's do a little swimming sometimes you see weird bugs but as you see perfect and then let's do a little combat too um I think there's some people in here. I'm just going to run in, hit them so you guys can see, uh, see that. So we'll just run up here. Oh, 
Oh man, that lady just laid it down on me. Oh my gosh. All right, so uh, that's it. That's the load screens. Um, and that's Fallout 4. Very good. Kind of pick up a little bit of that ambience on the background there. The audio is fixed completely. Um, let me go ahead and just do a little dialogue now that you've seen combat, water effects, lighting, um, just to round out this test of Fallout 4. So let's talk to this guy. Did you have questions about my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God... What kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? All right. Questions right now. Work quickly, detective. And that's it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and quit out. You saw the dialogue. You have that nice ambiance background. You see the ambience as far as effects and, and fighting. Um, what more could you ask for just complete perfection and we actually have a good quit out here which is good no lockups now i have had lockups before uh where it just stopped responding i hit alt f4 and waited a couple seconds and then i got the pop-up from wine saying hey this is locked up and then i just terminate by hitting terminate uh wine application so uh that's it for the fallout 4 gameplay so that was fallout 4 in its entirety so you got to see the configuration a little sample gameplay um i really enjoyed customizing this and really putting a lot of effort into it uh because the end result was nothing short of perfection in my eyes because i can't even get fallout 4 running this good on windows so uh, to see it just run like a dream i've already played a couple hours i even played a little bit on the live stream if you want to check out at the end uh on that i played through all of fallout new vegas in about two hours and then we had about a 30 minute play session in fallout 4 so if you want to see more fallout 4 gameplay check out that live stream i went ahead and published that after it got wrapped up um and it went very very well i was really happy with that uh new vegas though i i know during during the live stream out of the two hours of gameplay on that one uh, new vegas was a bit more buggy uh than fallout 4 because fallout 4 was pretty darn perfect as far as graphics and just general gameplay um, but that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and really enjoy your time in fallout 4 in linux because it is just fantastic and i'll see you guys in the next video